you can record straight from the analog drum machine, the Behringer RD8, directly into FL Studio with the line inputs. But for me, the RD8 tends to drift out of alignment. But when it's clocked in with the MIDI from FL Studio, it keeps it on time. Another benefit to incorporating MIDI is you don't have to manually solo drum hits when you're doing track outs. You can just program those parts in. Another benefit to connecting the Behringer RD8 to your computer with MIDI is that you can add individual swing to sounds. The RD8 does have swing, but it's a global effect across all sounds. I'm Willie Formilli, the guy with the lo-fi. Tap in if you like West Coast lo-fi glitchy stuff. I'm gonna show how I set up the Behringer RD8 with FL Studio. Let's go. First, I'm going to plug the 5-pin MIDI cable into the Behringer RD8's MIDI in on the back, then plug a yellow unbalanced TS cable into the BD output. That's the kick drum. So then I can at least have that separately. Then I'm going to plug in the red one into the main mono plug. The main mono plug will be all the sounds that aren't being routed out separately. So in this case, it'll be everything except the kick. The main mono output will also have any effects added on to it through the wave designer or analog filtering. Next on the interface, I'll plug the MIDI cable into the MIDI out. That way we are sending stuff to the drum machine's MIDI in. Then I'll plug the yellow cable into the left input and the red one into the right input. So that I remember, I would tell myself left, lello, and red, right. So I always plug them in the same way. Otherwise, if you have a template set up, things might get reversed with all the low end cutout of a kick or something. If you drive up the preamps on the interface too much, it'll raise the noise floor. So I'll turn the volume up on the master all the way on the RD8. With the machine on, I'll press settings, MIDI, and you'll be able to set the MIDI in channel. I'll double check that mine's on 10. It can be any number as long as it matches what you put on FL Studio. Now that it's set for the right channel, the RD8 has to be put in the MIDI mode. So just press that sync button so that it's set to MIDI. Now on FL Studio, I see my device shows up under settings. I'll set it to 10 and click on send master sync if it's not already clicked in. If you change the BPM on FL Studio and press play on an empty pattern, it should update the RD8 and that's a good sign that it's synced up. On the channel rack, open up MIDI out select the TR08 preset and select channel 10 and port 10. If you click on the piano roll, there won't be any sounds even if your interface is lighting up. So open a mixer. In this case, it's 14 will be input one and 16 will be input two. Now you'll be able to hear some sounds being triggered and you can click in a pattern. Now I'll just let the pattern loop adjust the gain knob so that they're at a good level. To record the beat you clicked in is easy. Just arm two tracks with your inputs, in this case 14 and 16, and hit record. Now that this is set up, you can add your favorite plugin effects to the chain and save it as a template so you never have to do this craziness again. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Bump that thumbs up and see you next time. Peace.